Hi, capitalized cost. It's one of the concepts that we use in economics and cost analysis to calculate the present worth for infinite projects. So when we have an infinite project that has an infinite useful life, we call it capitalized cost instead of present worth. So what is a capitalized cost? It's a technique that we use it to calculate the present worth. So another name for the present worth, but for an alternative that has an infinite useful life. This technique is most applicable in uh, government and public projects. So whenever you have a project that have an infinite, like uh, government projects, such as building uh, bridges, hospitals, parks, any public facility that will last forever, we call it capitalized costs. We don't call it a present worth, but we use a present worth to calculate the capitalized cost. How we could calculate the capitalized cost. There are four steps that I summarized in my textbook about how to calculate the capitalized cost. And these basically are, number one, find the present worth for all infinite intervals. Uh, any cash flow that has a, a finite interval, you, you find the present worth. Uh, whether using Excel equations or using the factor, uh, uh, find P if F is given, find P if A is given, or find P is if uh, G is given. So, uh, whether you use the Excel, which is this is the most technique that I would like you to use, uh, using Excel, using the function uh, PV. And then, number two, conver convert all non-annual recurring amount into annual worth. Uh, over one life cycle. What does that mean, one life cycle? We don't need to have a least, least common multiplier as we did for the multiple alternative that has unequal life. So only for one life cycle. So if we said uh, we're going to rebuild or uh, if we're going to maintain this building every five years, so we do the A for five years. Then we'll take an example to explain this. Divide the A values by I to find the present worth, and then I'll add all the present worth together to find the capitalized cost. All right, let's take this example, question four on chapter four, uh, to demonstrate how we could find the capitalized cost for infinite a project, and also if we compare the infinite project with other finite a project. So, the following data is available for three different alternatives. Using present worth analysis, find the best alternative. You see we have three alternatives, X, Y, and Z. Each one of these alternatives has initial cost, benefit, and we have a life uh, for per year, and interest rate 12%. Uh, so if you look into this uh, alternative X, you will see that infinite life for X. For Y is 10 years, and for, fa for Z is 5 years. How we could conduct the present worth analy analysis, or what we call the capitalized cost. Let's start with the first one, the X. And initial cost for X is 2,500, and the benefit per year is 700, N is infinity, I is 12%. So the first step is to convert any uh, infinite intervals into present worth. Well, basically we have only one transaction that is finite. It's only happening one time and it is in present worth. So we add it, we leave it as is. We don't need to change it. Just add minus 2,500. This is the initial cost. And for the benefit per year, we have a $700 benefit per year. And this is where we need to convert it into capitalized cost, into a present worth. And the capitalized cost for that would be 700 divided by 12%. 12%. So the capitalized cost, I'm going to write it here. It's an equation. It's listed in the textbook. However, we have to mention it here. We have to include it here. So capitalized capitalized cost is equal to A divided by I. Uh, A is the uniform series or the annual payment or the annual benefit. So what we did here, we divide the 700 by I, the 12%, and then we add these together to find what would be 
the present worth for the infinite for the infinite uh, alternative. Now for y and z, that's a different scenario. We will have to find what would be the uh, capitalized cost because we need to assume these projects will go forever. However, these not forever. So what we need to do, first of all, for the initial cost, what we have to do, we have to convert it into A format. So we use the payment function PMT for 12% 10 years present worth is negative uh, 2000 and then divide that by I as we said here on this right side capitalized cost is to find a divided by I so what we're trying to do we're, we're trying to find what is if we going to keep buying the alternative Y again and again and again and again and again for infinity because we have to to have an equal lifetime we have to be fair when we evaluate alternatives so in this case even the, the alternative is not infinity but however we could buy it assuming that we could buy it for infinity time so what we could do first of all the initial cost converted into a by using the PMT function divide that by I and since this is an, a negative, you have to have uh, the final result as a negative. So if you see a positive cash flow here, uh, just change it into negative. So again, what we did, we, we converted the present value, the 2000, this is initial value, initial cost, into A format, and we divide that by I. So we divide that by 12%. And then for the next one, the next transaction for alternative Y is the 300 benefit per year. This should be a positive transaction. So what we do, we divide that by I. So only dividing it because it's already in the A format. Again, one more time here for the present, the initial cost. This is not an A format. This is in a present format. Therefore, we have to convert it into A format to divide that by i and how we div how we convert it to the a format we use the pmt function and this is how you convert it into a format in order to find the capitalized cost you divide it by i in order to find the capitalized cost and what is the capitalized cost is assuming that this y available forever and you're gonna buy it every 10 years forever this is what is the capitalized cost so you add these together to find out what would be the capitalized cost which would be 449 and this is a negative same thing for Z for the initial cost we have to convert it into a divided by I so use the PMT function to do that divide that by I to find the equivalent for the 3000 if we go on to buy it every five years forever that would be 6935 now uh, the other uh, transaction which is the 600 we have to uh, divide that by I to find the capitalized cost it's already in the a format there's no need to use any function uses use it as is. add these together to find out that that would be 1935 okay so now we have the capitalized cost for X to be 33 33 capitalized cost for Y would be 449 negative and the capitalized cost for Z is 1935 of course the decision should be made of selecting X because it is the best decision this will give you a high capitalized cost now some some people they're still not sure how to calculate the capitalized cost for Y and Z here is another way for doing it. Uh, method 2 as listed here what we did so alternative X there's no way for doing it that's the only way for calculating the capitalized cost the initial cost which is already in the present format the uh, the yearly benefit we should convert it into capitalized cost by dividing a which is the 700 by i so that would give us 33 33 3333 
So there's no other way for calculating the capitalized cost. That's the only way. And this is basically you following these four steps in here. Now, another way to calculate the capitalized cost for for the for the finite alternatives like y and z you you create the cash flow as we've learned in other examples you calculate you you list what transactions happening on year by year for 10 years for x for for y and z so now 0 to 10 and then the same thing for z and once you found, once you listed all the transactions, so no, please notice that we we will buy another Z on year five. And then once you build your cash flow, use the NPV function NPV to find the present worth of these transactions. NPV twelve percent. Select the value from one to ten. Add to that the add to that uh, year zero to find what would be the present worth now in order to find the capitalized cost what we have to do we have to divide a we have to divide a over i so in order to find a we can we have to convert the present worth to a using the pmt function so we use the pmt function 12 percent 10 years and we use the value that we just got from the pv function and that would give you 53.97 now you can apply this equation c the capitalized cost or cc is equal to a divided by i so once you find the uh, a you can divide it by i and that would give you the same result if you notice 449 do the same thing for uh, z for 10 years find the present worth and then once you find the present worth you find the a using the pmt function and once you find the pmt or the a the equivalent a for this present worth you divide it by i uh, of 12 percent and this should give you the same answer 1935. another another way for doing it is there another way for doing it i'm i'm gonna stop right here I hope this makes sense to you, F uh, follow the directions and you should be able to conduct capitalized cost for infinite uh, alternative and a finite alternative. If you compare infinite with, with a finite, now this is the way for doing it. So this is, uh, this is how you do it. So I'm sure that you will do it. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you.